Wildin', usual like Kobe Ooh, worry about a hater that don't know me He say that he tough, then that boy gotta show me Pull up in the truck, extra the pause, and we fall deep Say my name three times like I'm Tony What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Sneakers, and I'm back with another video Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the ugliest shoe I have ever seen Like, it's literally the ugliest shoe I've ever seen As you can tell by the title it's going to be the Nike Flea One Cactus Flea Market. Yes, I hit on the sneakers app. And it is a shocker for myself. This is a hype release because it's Cactus Flea Cactus Plant Flea Market. I keep messing up the name. As you can see by the box, the details on the box is crazy. So I hit on the 10 and a half. It's not for the toe. And let's dig into the box. So, oh, snap. So once I open the box, we have the two Nike swooshes here. Um, I'm not sure what it's for. I guess you put it on the side, maybe. Uh, we also have a, this is my first time even opening the box. So we're doing this together. We're unboxing this shoe together. This is a duffel bag. It says, just do it. This is very nice. It's very detailed. This is, this is nice. The duffel bag, right? So after that, we got the paper. It's very detailed. Yeah, it is, oh my God. Let me just unbox the shoe. So we have the paper here and then we have the shoe. Yes. Here is the shoe. The Nike Flea Market. Whew. This is the ugliest shoe I have ever seen. And I don't know what that smell is, but mm, it doesn't smell nice. So let's get into the shoe. We got the the grass here this is what they want to call it so for those of you who don't know cactus plant flea market is known for doing a lot of different collabs with nike i'm gonna add some pictures of some of the other shoes that they also have with nike i in my opinion this is the worst shoe that they have with nike the green is supposed to be like overgrown grass and this is what it says on the tag I've been growing. Please trim Ex excess material on excess material on Nike C PFM Flea One before wear. So you're supposed to trim this grass or what we have here in order to wear it, and it's supposed to be a better look, maybe. But I don't think anything can top this. Like. Yeah, this is just terrible. They have a Nike Dunk bottom. Um, and in the insole, we have an L, which is for the left shoe. Because if you really look at if you really look at this shoe, like how do you even know what foot to put it on? Like you can't even see the curve barely. And the bottom is very this is supposed to be like the dirt and the the green this this fuzzy part that we have here is the grass growing so i guess that's the concept of the shoe and on the tongue here we have the nike and something surprising that i just noticed is that it has a zipper which is actually very cool. This is cool. I don't know how something is even supposed to fit in there. I could barely even fit both of my fingers. Like, this is crazy. This is a very interesting shoe. Like, when I when I hit on Nike, I hit on the sneakers app. And I was like, oh, I'm surprised. I never hit on something so nice. Well, not nice, but something hype. I want to say it's hype because it's Cactus Plant Free Market. 
but the resell isn't even doing that much numbers like i think the retail was two hundred dollars and right now it's going for i want to say like 350 i hit on a ten and a half and when it first dropped they were going for like five six hundred dollars i don't know what happened i guess because it's so ugly that it just dropped because who's really wearing this on their feet let's get into the right shoe and see what's going on because in pictures i noticed that they're two different shoes well at least the the mid the midsole is two different as you can see here we have a nike dunk low bottom this one's gray this one's brown and the midsole also for this shoe this isn't the dirt as you would want to say as they said uh i want to say this looks like concrete to me or maybe like rocks and I guess the grass is growing from there. And this is really ugly. Like, wow. Wow. This this is giving me Grinch vibe. Like, the Grinch who stole Christmas. And what's crazy is that they came out in December too. So maybe there was a theme. I don't know what they was trying to get out of this. But, wow doing some reading and the more that you wear the shoe it's going to this is going to go away and i don't know what it's going to look like at the bottom because i'm not even going to wear the shoe i just i just hit on i just went for the shoe because i wanted to see if i would hit on the shoe but wow it's very detailed like i would love to see what it's going to look like the more that you wear it and i would love to see how it looks trimmed i've seen a few videos of other people who got this shoe trimming it down but it doesn't really make a difference to me i still think that this is the ugliest shoe this is the ugliest shoe of the year definitely like do not argue with me but let's get into the details of this shoe so this is the right foot uh R stands for right foot, obviously. This shoe has the CPFM on the tongue here, as you can see. It also has a zipper in here. I don't know what is to be put in here, though, because I could barely even fit my two fingers. Maybe you fit a little, a couple dollars, maybe. But besides that, that's it. But this shoe is very detailed. This is a very nice shoe. And it also has a Nike swoosh on the inside of the shoe. And on the outside, it has a, the yin and yang on the outside of the shoe. I think both of the shoes have that on it. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it does. They both have that. It's hidden though. I really want to see what this shoe looks like trimmed. Like fully trimmed, worn, put on foot. And how it, I want to see the midsole gone. What does the bottom look like? Like is this going to be a Nike Dunk shoe maybe? Like, I don't know. I seen Uzi wear it. And mm, Uzi, I'd prefer you to not have worn those shoes. Because these are just terrible like i literally have the grinch on my feet that's what i think of this shoe you have the grinch on your feet literally details go crazy uh it comes with the extra extra shoelaces you have rope shoelaces here and we have the regular standard shoelaces that the shoes come with and that's pretty much all for the unboxing. I like the duffel bag the most that it comes with a duffel bag. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. I wish all my sneakers came with duffel bags because sometimes, you know, what if I'm traveling? I want to put my shoe in a little duffel bag on the way to go. Like, this shoe literally looks like dirt and grass. Like, like, ew. I don't know. 
Let me know in the comments if you like this shoe, if you would wear this shoe, if you hit on the sneakers at maybe just for fun, maybe maybe to see if you would hit. And I just find it crazy because when I tried to head for the lost and founds, I didn't get them, but I got something I didn't want. But that's sneakers app for you, right? That yeah, that's pretty much sneakers app for you. But anyways, guys, that's all for the video today. Sneaker Wiz is out. If you're a sneakerhead and you want to be featured in the Heat Quest, please let me know. I'm open to view anybody's sneaker collection with Heat. And Sneaker Wiz is out. Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to let me know if you like this shoe and your thoughts of the Nike Flea One Cactus Plant E Market. I keep forgetting the Sneaker Wiz is out, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Usual like Kobe. Ooh, worry about a hater that don't know me. He say that he tough, then that boy gotta show me. Pull up in the truck, extra pole.